Hi, this video will show you how to port your Google Copyright applications uh, to your Android phone. And uh, the first step is you need to prepare uh, your development environment. So uh, basically you need to have a phone and then you need to install the uh, corresponding SDK on your computer. And you also need to set something for the Unity. And then uh, the step two is about your project settings. And finally, it's uh, you export uh, the application or ask Unity to build uh, the Android uh, applications into an APK file and you connect your Android phone using USB and then you can uh, transfer the files into your Android phones and playbacks using the Google Cardboard. So the first thing is about the phone. So any Android phones with the Android 4.4 or highest can be played by Google Cardboard. So you can using any of the brand, uh, any of the model, but just make sure it has the Android uh, 4.4 or higher uh, as the operating system. And the other thing is you need to set your phone or enable the developer mode. So how do you enable your phones to uh, the and developer options. Uh, you can check the internet. There's a lot of a step a steps or a screenshots to show you. So here is one of the websites show you uh, the step to turn your phone uh, or enable the developer option. So what you need to do is just go to the settings of your phone. And here is the options called about phone uh, to show all the detail, the Android versions, and uh, also the system version. And then inside this page, you will find a special number it is called the build number. And what you need to do is just use your finger, tap on this number seven times. Yes, seven times. And after you tap seven times, your phone will tell you, you are now a developer. Even you don't know programming, you are now a developer. Uh, but in fact, it just enable the developer options on your phone. And the most important thing here is it allows you to using USB cable and transfer any APK file and install as a normal application on your phone. The next thing you need to check is do you have the corresponding SDK on your computer? So this step is very simple. If you're using the uh, Android uh, Studio, you will have the SDK manager to check and manage your SDK version. So I have an Android Studio here. And after you open Android Studio, here's one of the special configure and that's an SDK manager. So in this SDK managers, you can select any versions of the Android and install on your computer. So you can build applications for Android 9, you can build the application for Android 8. As I mentioned before, if you want to do Google Cardboard, the minimum version of the Android to support it is Android 4.4 KitKat. So you need to make sure you have this SDK or if you have a higher, uh, that uh, is a fit your phone. I think it should be fine. And the other thing here is you also need to uh, using the path here. So in the SDK manager, uh, other than you just can install the SDK or uninstall the SDK, you also will show where is the SDK. So this part is very important because Unity and uh, Google uh, or Android is a different company. So if you want to link these two applications together, Unity need to know where is your SDK. So you need to copy this path and paste back to your Unity. But before you do this, you have to make sure one more thing has installed on your computer. So in your SDK manager, here is the Android version and you can go to the SDK tools. You can also install is the Android SDK command line tools. So this will be used by the Unity uh, to call some functions to execute at the background. So make sure the Android SDK command line tool also is installed on your machines. All right, so before I go back to Unity, I just copy this path. All right, so for this is my path. I just copy this and then I can go back to the Unity. So in Unity, you have several things you need to check. First, 
is your unity support uh, Android build. If not, you need to install this component using the Unity Hub. But for me, I already have all the iOS and Android build installed, and I can go directly to my Unity project and set the path of this SDK I just installed. So I go to Unity and go to the preferences, and you can find one panel is called the external tools. So this external tools will have a fill to net you slash the SDK folder. And this is the path is showing in the Android Studio SDK Manager. So you just copy from uh, the SDK Manager and paste the path here. And if everything is fine, so the Unity will uh, get the path. And every time you build the Android applications, Unity will go to this SDK. But remember, I'm using 2018. So if you have a 2019, you will see Unity will have its own embedded SDK for Android build. So if you're using 2019, you don't need to do anything. You can use the embedded SDK, although I found it's not very stable to work with the Google Cardboard SDK. So I just go uh, not go for the latest version. I still keep the 2018. And uh, if you are using 2018, I better using uh, the SDK provided by Google, not the embedded SDK provided by Unity. All right, so this is the setup. And next is about your project. All right, so let's take a look about your project setting. So that's two things you need to set. And if you open the Unity, uh, you can using the uh, sample projects I provided or using your own applications. Uh, and then you need to double check the build settings. So after you open your uh, Google VR applications, you go to File, Build Settings. And here you need to switch your preference to Android first. So if you are not uh, building Android before, you will see uh, the current platforms may be the PC, Mac, and Linux standalone, or I use iOS before. So I just, uh, you can see the switch. The platform I that here is iOS. So I need to switch the platform to Android. So I just select Android and click the switch platform button. All right, so now I have switched to the Android and the next step is double check. Do you have your scene uh, added to this bill? So if you look at the top of the scenes in the bill is empty, you can open your scene and click this add open scene here. And then you will make sure your Android application will have at least one scene so you can play and ex um, explore uh, the viral in your Android phone. And the next thing you need to set is about the player. So the player setting is about your VR, SDK, and also the very important thing is about your application's identification. So I click the player settings here and you will see the panels on the right hand side is the player setting. So if I switch to the Android, I will on the Android tab. And you scroll down, there's several things you need to set up. First thing is about the XR setting. So the XR setting is to make sure you have the Google Cardboard and also make sure the VR supported is checked. Okay, so if you using 2019, you will see this is it's uh, look a little bit differently, but you still need to enable this VR supported and add the cardboard SDK under the VR SDK's list. Okay, so that's the XR setting in Unity. And the next step is the setting about your application. So the application settings inside the other settings, scroll down. And here is a very important identifications area. So you need to make sure your application need an ID. This is very important for the Android phone to recognize whether you already installed this application before or this is a total new application on the phone. So the ID should be unique and should avoid any conflicts with other company. So most people were using his or her company's domain and do it reversely as a reverse domain naming. 
So I'm using my company's uh, uh, websites and using uh, the subdomains, the .vr and .gvr as the name of this application. So if I build again and again, if I port to the same Android phone and I will over, I will update the applications, not just install as a new application. And the next thing is about your minimum API level. So this is for Google Cardboard. The minimum requirement is Android 4.4. So you need to make sure that the minimum API level is set to Android 4.4. And that's it. And I can go back to the top. If you like, you can change the company name to your company or and you can name the application. So the product names will be the application name show on the Android phone screen. So you can using any name, but of course not too long to represent your application. So that's it. And then you can go to the build and run button inside your build settings. So before I build the applications, I need to make sure two things. First, if you want to transfer the application to your Android phone after the build is finished, you need to connect your Android phone using USB and make sure the screen is unlocked and double check your Android phone is in developer mode. And then I can go back to the build setting and click the build and one button. And the Unity will ask me to save the ABK on the local machines. So I just provide uh, the path and the name for this Android applications and just click the save button. And I already built before, so you can see I would just override it and wait. All right, so here is uh, some problems on my machines because I'm using a very, very old version of my command line SDK. So it doesn't matter. I just click use to high list install it. And just so Unity's will use using the SDK path I provided in the external tool and find the corresponding SDK to build my application. So if I connect my phone using USB and Unity's will transfer my Google Cardboard applications to my Android phone, install on your phone, showing on the screen and will launch the application immediately. So this is the steps to build um, uh, the Android version of your Google Cardboard application. So remember this video is for Cardboard VR SDK. So if you're using Android or Unity to build other game, maybe you were using different version, maybe you were using a little bit different SDK. So this video is just for Google Cardboard. So if you want to build for iOS, you can check out my next video about how to build the same applications on iOS device. So that's it. If you have any questions, you can leave it on the comments and I will check it out later. See you in the next video.